What's up, Scentsy fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to another episode of Tester Tuesday, where I get Scentsy reviews out to you guys based on what you want to hear about because you vote at the end of the video. This week, we're going to cover three scents, so I'm going to try to keep it brief. Last week, we had 382 votes. So let's talk about our first place scent for the week. It is a Lemon Drizzle Cake. This one had 38% of your vote. It's a pretty yellow color wax. I would say cold sniff intensity is about a medium, and this is part of the Easter three pack bundle. You have to purchase it as a bundle unless you have Scentsy Club. You can put bars individually that way. So I would put this in the citrus category with a sub of bakery. So Scentsy says for the scent description, lilac sugar and vanilla icing drizzle add sweetness to lemon butter cake. So for me, this is predominantly citrus. The lemon is very sweet, it's tangy, and every once in a while I do get a cleaner lemon tone, but it's probably only like 20% of the time. It definitely reads more bakery sweet lemon to me. Now, it reminds me a lot of when you open up a Sheriff Powder lemon mix if you're going to make a lemon meringue pie. I usually try to make my lemon meringue pies from scratch, but I know certain people in my family, they use the lemon Sheriff pie mix and it actually tastes really good. <laughs> lemon meringue pies are really hard to make, but when you open those, it's a, there's a very powdery tone it's a little bit almost like of a chemical lemon powdery tone. And I think what's happening for me is the lilac sugar is doing that. I don't really pick up floral per se, but I pick up a powderiness from the floral. So, and I find, I wish there was more cake. I find the cake comes across very vanilla based, almost like a meringue light, gentle cake. And I want it a little bit more. Kind of like Clementine Cupcake has more cake and clementine, a good balance. I wish this was a little bit closer to that. So that's what I get. So let me talk about performance. I took two cubes and warmed it here in my bedroom, and I took three cubes and warmed it in the bonus room, which is a TV room above the garage. So in my bedroom, strength and throw in a 25 watt ceramic was about seven and a half out of 10. I left it going two days, 23 hours. The first day was six hours, and then I left it going 17 hours the second day. The first day it was more powdery in nature and definitely stronger. So I actually liked it a little bit better on day two in quality, but I just wished it was stronger. When I warmed it in my bonus room, I did the same pattern, but it didn't last as long there, probably because I take three cubes and put one and a half cubes in one warmer and one and a half cubes in another. So I have a 40 watt Edison and a 25 watt ceramic in that room. So it did pretty well, about seven out of 10. It's a very big zone. And I only left it going there about a day and a half or 18 hours. So I think for me, this is a medium to small zone scent. So a scent like this, I think a lot of people would want to warm in their kitchen. For me, my kitchen is part of an open layout, so it wouldn't really work for me to do it in my kitchen. But if you have a separate kitchen, this would work really well for, the, for that area. If you're someone that likes citrusy bakery scents, you could probably warm this in an entrance way as well. It'd be really nice. But I think somewhere that's small to medium in zone works best. Spring and summer, to me, this reads. And I would say for mixing, if you want to up the bakery, you could definitely mix it with a generic bakery, something like vanilla bean buttercream or sugar cookie if you have that. But I think it would be really nice mixed with clementine cupcake. I did mention that when I hauled this. So will I be repurchasing lemon drizzle cake? My sister actually wants some, so I think I'm going to put it in my Scentsy Club to get some for her. And maybe I will keep it in there just to get a little bit extra. I did really enjoy it. It just wasn't as strong as I would like. And I did want a little bit more vanilla buttery bakeriness. But it was my favorite of the trio. So that is lemon drizzle cake. So let's talk about our second place scent for the week. It is Blueberry Burst. This one had 24% of your vote. It's a very dark, pretty blue colored wax. On cold sniff, this is about a medium. And I would put this in the fruity section. Sensi describes Blueberry Burst as juicy blueberry and black raspberry sweetened with caramelized sugar. So it's funny, on cold sniff, I liked this quite a bit. It reminds me of kind of like a juicy blueberry that's artificial. When I warmed it, it really uh, became like another scent. <laughs> and now that's all I can smell. And it's probably because people are comparing the two. It really kind of smells like the blueberry note that I get from fairy tale pumpkin. So fairy tale pumpkin was a scent of the month. To me, it was like a blueberry candy with a little bit of background spice. And it was like a Halloween mixed bag of candy with a lot of blueberry scent. 
So blueberry burst, it's almost like there is a little tendency to have a fresh blueberry that has burst, but the blueberry juices have kind of in the oven, let's say, wherever it's cooking, has gone over and burned just the touch because whenever I see caramelized sugar, I'm always worried about a burnt smell. There was this underlying tendency for that. So I don't really like that. The other thing is when I warm blueberry scents, I sometimes get an underlying like, <laughs> this is gonna sound really bad, but it almost smells like ashes from cigarettes. Like it's like an ashtray smell. So, uh, you know, I'm always a little bit like turned off by that, obviously. So yes, it's almost like there was a person at Scentsy Let's call him, uh, like, Freddie Theo Pumpkin. Freddie Theo Pumpkin made this scent of the month, and it didn't really go over the greatest. So he came and asked maybe Dan if he could make another scent, and they said, okay, go ahead. So then he brings them this one, <laughs> and they say, Freddie, that's almost the same as your other scent of the month. He goes, yeah, I just kind of tweaked it a little bit. <laughs> And put a new name on it. So they're a little bit similar to me. So I'm not really digging this 100% once I warmed it. So speaking of warming, let's talk about that. So I took two cubes and put them in my daughter's room. She really likes uh, Blueberry Rush. So I thought she would like this. And I put the other three cubes in Drew's room. So in my daughter's room, she has a, I forget what it's called, Moon Over Jupiter glass warmer. It does very well, seven out of 10 for this one. And I left it going a day and a half about 18 hours. And in Drew's room, it was also seven out of 10, but he has two warmers in that zone. I left it going a day and a half, also 18 hours. And I have a note here that around hour nine, it just really started to dip down, but it still kind of picked along. It's almost like a lingerer in rooms. Now, I don't think this would be strong enough for an open layout. I think again, just like lemon drizzle cake, you need a medium to small area for this one. I think this one is also more fall winter to me but you could also bakery it up a little bit if you want some bakery. Some people say there's bakery in this. I don't really know if I get bakery. I would almost like to add some more bakery. So even something like an almond croissant, or even if you wanted to try blueberry cheesecake because the blueberries are a little bit alike. This one is just more like a little bit candy and burnt to me. So yeah, uh, blueberry burst. Not one that I would repurchase personally. I'll just use up the bars that I have and call it a day. Okay, so let's talk about our third and bonus scent for the week. It is Raspberry Lollipop. Now, when I first did this Tester Tuesday, I wasn't actually going to do three scents, but I had enough time to squeeze it in and it was very close in voting to Blueberry Burst. It had 21% of the vote. It's this muted pinkish red colored wax. And on cold sniff, I would say this is medium. Maybe just shy of medium. And I would put this in the fruity category. And like I said, part of the Easter three pack. So the scent description for this one, it says raspberry puree brings a tangy twist to crystallized sugar and vanilla extract. So first I don't get vanilla extract, crystallized sugar and raspberry puree. Okay, so this is a raspberry scent. Scentsy has been going crazy with the raspberry scents. It's almost like, okay, enough, you, you know, sometimes we say, oh, we need more raspberry and then they just start pumping out <laughs> raspberry after raspberry and after a while you're like, stop. So then they avoid it for a couple of years and then the same cycle kind of continues. So that's where we're at. So a lot of people find this very sweet. They say it's like a raspberry lollipop. There's something wrong with my nose because I find this very, very tart. This reminds me of a diabetic raspberry candy that has either an artificial sweetener, which kind of reads like not enough sugar or a candy that has barely enough sugar. And I was smelling it and smelling it and I'm thinking, what does this remind me of? And it reminds me of a raspberry version of that scent, Cozy Cranberry. I don't have Cozy Cranberry to smell, but that scent came across to me as a cranberry with ba barely enough sugar to kind of make it a bakery. And this is barely enough sugar to me to make it a confectionery type scent. It's just very tart to my nose. So definitely my least favorite of the bunch. So let me talk about performance. I took two cubes and put it in Ryan's Spider-Man warmer. Strength and throw was about five out of 10. And it wasn't very strong, so after about, uh, I would say six or seven hours, I decided to add a bakery. I added some sugar cookie because Brandy was saying how she really liked that combination. Now, I don't know if she did it in alternating warmers or in the same warmer. I did it in the same warmer, and I, I found that it didn't really increase the intensity maybe the first day, but the second day I felt like it was a little bit stronger, so I don't really know why that is. 
And here we are on day three. It is still going. I feel like it's still the same intensity. I think we're on hour 53. <laughs> so it's the sugar cookie is prolonging the scent quite well, but it didn't add enough sweetness for me. I'll tell you what I think I might mix this with here in a second. So I did put two cubes in my kid's bathroom just because I, I had a room there. And strength that there was much better there because there's a mini warmer next to each sink. So they have two mini warmers in that bathroom. It's a small zone. It was about seven out of 10 in the bathroom. And I did remove it. Um, the, this is the third day, hour 52. So still going in Ryan's room mixed with the sugar cookie, but I removed it in the bathroom. So to me, this is the longer lasting of the three, but probably the lightest of the three. So what... I think I would do is mix this for me to give it more sweetness, mix it with something like a rasp, um, rainbow sherbet because rainbow sherbet is very sweet to me. And I think this might kind of, they, they might meet in the middle. So that's what I would do. But of the three scents, I feel like this is almost a year round scent and you could bake, bakery it up a little bit, or you could sweeten it up a little bit, or you could mix it with something like a creamy scent, like woolly slippers to give it a little bit of a marshmallow twist. So, this is the one I like the least, but I think this one has the most versatility because you can take it in different directions. It's the lightest, but the longest lasting. So yeah, that's not a repurchase for me, but raspberry lollipop, people are seeming to like this one. I just read it a little bit different. Okay, so now we're moving to the portion of the video where I'm gonna draw for scents and you guys are gonna vote. Please pick two different scents by early Wednesday morning. Put your votes down in the YouTube comment section. And if you can't do that for whatever reason, then find my Instagram post. And actually, if you are not subscribed, it's a reminder to subscribe. And if you don't have a YouTube account, it's very easy to set up. You can comment and subscribe. I would definitely encourage that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually have new bars for this Tester Tuesday, all new bars. So you'll kind of see as we go. Now I'm gonna actually put the Chase the Rainbows collection, or Chase Rainbows, sorry, <laughs> Chase Rainbows collection. And I didn't know when I did my cold sniffs that there's a definite order to the rainbow. I just kind of went alphabetically because I'm an alphabetical kind of girl. So I probably committed a rainbow sin. But anyway, let's go alphabetically just to keep consistent. So set number one is Chase Rainbows Blue. You can just put blue as your vote. Set number two is Chase Rainbows Green. Set number three, Chase Rainbows Orange. Set number four, Chase Rainbows Red. Set number five, Chase Rainbows Yellow. And to bring up the final scent, scent number six, scent of the month coming up for April, Ruby Nectarine. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to vote and I will see you guys in the next video.